Black Frog going out across Tame with Zeke and Graham. That was Kansas. Carry on, my wayward son. Oh, that was my my radio voice. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Good. I'm okay. How are you? Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Good. You're, you're Graham. I I am the Raving Wild, but people call me Graham. Uh huh. So what are we doing today? We should probably explain that. Yeah. It's, um, it's Zeke and Graham's ultimate mixtape, isn't it? It really is, and fingers crossed, it should be ultimate. Because, ladies and gentlemen at home, uh, what we're doing is we are both picking out three tracks. We're going to try and impress each other, aren't we? It's essentially what we're going to do, and hopefully top each other. We've got three tracks each, and yeah. we're going to play them to each other throughout the show, and then we're going to decide which four, in total, go on the mixtape. So, But, see, what we haven't really discussed is mm -hmm. what, what none we, of this is planned no what we're we doing is the, the mixtape <laughs> nothing it's just an idea for a radio show oh i'm not literally going to burn it onto a cassette that you can play in a car i really wanted a cassette we'll get the black frog guys to to arrange it i'm sure yeah <laughs> that'd, that'd be cool that'd speaking be nice. of which you can you can tweet in at us can't they yeah they can yeah at uh, radio black frog probably I'm going to take a punt at it and say... Go for it. Just just text us. Just text us. What's your mobile number? Give that out live on air. Let's do that. Uh, it's, um... No, just tweet no. us. It's, prob right. it's probably Radio Black Frog. If it's not Radio Black Frog, do tweet on in and let us know the correct Twitter address. So... <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on, that defeats the object. Nah, they'll, they'll figure it out. I wonder who they're going to tweet into. Radio Black Frog. Yeah, but if it isn't ready a black frog, mm -hmm. who are they going to then tweet in to let us know what the address is? Well, us, because we need to know. Yeah, but how? Text us. We can't give our number. They thought, uh, everyone's got your number anyway. You I know everyone in town. know everyone in town. You know everyone in town. If you know Graham, then tweet on in at Graham's mobile number. Dot com. Seriously, if you're listening live now, text Graham. Let's see how many texts he gets over the course of the show. Really? Yeah, I reckon... Yeah, if you've already got his number, text him, and, uh, <laughs> and you'll see how many people he knows in Tame. I reckon it's hundreds. I don't reckon it's hundreds. I think I think it's um, hundreds of a decimal point worth of people. <laughs> I, I think I know one person's foot is essentially what I'm saying. Can you text with a foot? <laughs> is the question. So we won't hear from that foot. I, I'd assume, generally, If you're the, the foot, brain... then tweet in at Radio Black Frog. <laughs> If I get, like, hundreds of texts now saying, I'm the foot, I'm the foot. Um, <laughs> That's what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Should we, uh, should we go straight to the first song? Yes. Would you like to go first? Or... Oh, may I? Oh. Hello. Can I? Yes. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. I know you got, you're going to know the artist for this one. Okay. Because you kind of really got me into her, in a manner of speaking. Uh, but you might not know the actual song. Okay. All right? So, this is Regina Spector oh. with Nemakita Park. Oh, I do know this one. Oh, here we go. Oh, and that was what a song for a, a sunny tune. day. Good, isn't it? Yeah, that amazing. was Nemakita Pa by Regina Spector. I do love a woman that can speak French. And she's so you? versatile, isn't she? she? Is. I mean, I'm not just talking like language-wise, um, just like song to song. She is, yeah. You know, you'd struggle to realise that she is indeed the same artist. Absolutely. And she can speak French, that's all I know. And she can speak French. Do you, do you like a lady that can speak French? If so, tweet on in. If you don't, then don't tweet on in, and we'll tally up those tweets and non-tweets and let you know at the end of the show. Je suis le français foot. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre. Pierre is uh, foot in French. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 I kind of got a bit confused there. Don't really speak much French. You used up your the only three French words you knew at the beginning of the sentence and you came unstuck at foot, didn't you? Uh, actually, the only reason why I knew um, I am is because I had to look it up for myself earlier. Earlier when? Back in when you were 13 at school? Uh, no. No, um, I was, I was, I'm going on a French radio, aren't I? So. Oh, you are, actually. Yeah. yeah, let's talk a bit about that. You've been really busy. I have, yeah. Yeah, I've been... Um, what were we, we doing last night? I was on um, BBC Introducing. On the BBC. It was cool, man. Mm -hmm. um, like, following in my granddad's footsteps, um, he was going to be on the BBC, and back in the day, that was quite a, 
quite a big thing. Was he? I didn't know this. Well, I'll point out we're brothers if you didn't know that listening at home. But what's this? Granddad was on the radio. He kind of was, right? Well, he was saying to everybody in the village, I'm going to be on the BBC. And bear in mind, there were like three channels. So, you know, he was quite excited. And my nan got excited. She'd got all her hair done and everything, even though she's yeah, he yeah. Was only going to be on the TV. And anyway, she told everybody in the village. And then he walked out of a mine. They didn't uh-huh. interview him or anything. He was literally just on the TV show. But he was covered in coal dust. Right. Now, filming techniques back then weren't exactly great, so mm-hmm. he was indistinguishable from anybody else walking out of the mine. What was it for, though? I don't understand what it was for. Just a documentary on the mine strikes, I think. Okay. Yeah. But um, did, they, did they talk to him? Was he actually talking no. on camera? No, he just walked out of a mine covered in coal dust. And nobody could recognise him. All right. But he was on the BBC television. He was, yeah. yeah. And, you, so, and you were on BBC introducing last night, playing, yeah. playing your, your new song. That was quite good. Yes. And I, I was on, I tell you what, it's been a month for the BBC because I was on BBC One not too long ago. You, wasn't why it? weren't you? Yep, I was on yes. that show with uh, little Dominic Littlewood. Champion, championing good causes. Yeah, I was slagging off companies, which we will not name, which we will no, not name. No. But yeah, that was fun. So it's been a month for us being on the BBC, hasn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, is that resolved now? Curiosity. We can't talk about it. No, no, no. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Yes, no, no. Yes. Okay. Right. Fair yeah. enough. Um, right. Well. In <laughs> anyway, case, but I'm that song. To... Are we happy to put that on the on the mixtape or Regina Spector? Of course. Spectre? Yeah. I would love to. Yeah. Because we're going to have to cross off two over the course of this, but I think <clears> that's kind of a winner. We both like Regina Spector. I'm sure, you guys liked it at home. It's such a happy song. It really is. If you haven't seen the video for it, you should go check that out because it is mad as a box of yeah, frogs. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, uh, generally she is. I mean, she's very um very eclectic. Mm. I found um not just in stylistic choice, but yeah, just visual media is yeah. It's it. She's a she's an interesting. Oh, lady. why don't you marry her? <laughs> 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 so Regina's on the mixtape. Yes. We'll take that one to the bank. Good. Great. Let's launch into one of yours. What have you got? Okay, uh it's actually a friend of mine who I'm gonna be playing with very soon. Um but he's a ridiculously talented guy. Mm. Um his name's Samuel Hansen. Samuel Hansen. Hansen. But Hansen. he is actually uh incidentally rather handsome. Why didn't you marry him? <laughs> <laughs> I will. And what's the song called? Right. It's um it's called Two Ways. Two ways. Yes. Okay, let's give it a listen. Samuel Hansen. Let's do that. And that was Samuel Hansen here on Radio Black Frog coming to you live across Tame. And that song was called Two Ways, as chosen by my brother Graham. Yes. That was... Oh, I like that. I like that. It sounds like you. Are you franchising? <laughs> I'm not franchising. <laughs> Nor did I have plastic surgery. Um, no, he's A, more talented and B, more handsome. Um, uh, he's just a fantastic chap. You really should check him out. He's He's got an amazing selection of songs. Um I, he's just I, working on some new material now. He's just got a band together. So. Brilliant. I am looking forward to listening to some of the other things he's got there on SoundCloud because um, I, as much as I love that song, I'm a little reluctant to say it should end up on the Ultimate Mixtape for this, this Why? episode. Uh, just because, A, I'm looking forward to seeing the other two tracks you've got lined up, so I don't want to peak too soon, if you will. And mm, okay. secondly, I'm just thinking... You'd have to be in a certain mood to, to sit down and listen to that song. It's a little bit... I don't know. Um, well, I've spent a lot of time in Cornwall and a rock. Um, things mm. like that. Kind of pretty epic, really, when you're watching the tide. Trying to take you... Fair um, point. Fair point. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I well, think like... Sam's on the mixtape. Yes. Yeah, he Brilliant. should be. Because that, that, that's some seriously good talent there. So. Yeah. Brilliant. Keep it up down there in Falmouth, Sam Handsome. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, that was, that was good. You, you were in Cornwall, obviously. You had yes, a nice was, little yeah. holiday there. How long were you there it was for? A bit longer than a holiday. Long weekend? No, it was a week? more than a long weekend. More than a week. How long were you there for? I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> you can't punch me in the face on radio. I can, nobody can see it. If you'd like Graham to punch Zeke in the face, then tweet in at <laughs> Radio Black Frog. The foot wants to kick him. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I was there for just over a month. But, um, yeah, okay. eye-opening experience. It really was. Um, sure. Getting down there and being completely in your own, in complete silence, and um, mm-hmm. yeah, it was quite relaxing in some ways. 
Get a lot of music writing done. Um, yeah, yeah, just like a lot of concepts, really. I need to finish them off now that I'm back. Um, yeah, yeah, really, um, as I said, inspiring. But you're back, you're back in, in the Bucks area. Yes, in yes, um, permanently, mm -hmm. for the time being, at the very least. How um, long have you been wearing that hoodie? What do you mean? Have you not been wearing that hoodie for like the last three days? No. Okay. And thank you, if I had been, for telling everybody on air. <laughs> Once again, I want to punch you in the face. But actually saying that, I saw you yesterday and you were wearing a rather fetching suit. So I'm, Thank you. Yeah, I, I do take that back. Thank you. I do take Thank that you, back. Carly. Should we go to the next track? Yes, what is it? I don't know, I've forgotten. <laughs> 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 this is how organised we are. Uh, let me just get off the old, the old iPad. A look at uh, the selection. I've wrote down a few things, and I thought I'd just wing it, like choose things on the night, depending on what kind of vibe we've got. Yeah, so I honestly course. didn't know what vibe you were going to go for. I went kind of a little bit on the alt-rock yeah. spectrum. So the next song I've got is, uh, and I guarantee you won't have heard this, it's okay. called Beretta by a little band called Turn. Can't say I have. Let's listen. Looking forward to it. I try my best to stay calm as a watch. You unload like a Beretta. There's no And you're listening live with Radio Black Frog going out across Tame. It's Graham and it's Zeke. And we're listening to some. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> that was the worst link ever. I wish I could redo it. But we're live. Never mind. But we're live. But we're live. <laughs> that was uh, a song called Beretta by Turn, who, as that song was playing, I didn't know what became of them. I first came across that song, like, years ago. Remember when magazines, music magazines, used to have, like, CDs on the front of them? When music magazines actually meant something. <laughs> yeah, when music <laughs> meant something, you know. Yeah. And you used to get that little um, demo tape off the front, and you used yeah. to listen to it. It would be a brilliant way of finding out, you know, new bands and things. I, I really, yeah, really enjoyed yeah. those days. So anyway, I found them from that, and... Uh, Wonder what became of them. Not a lot, apparently. They've been, they've been going all these years, but never made much of themselves. They did get a song in One Tree Hill. Oh, did they? Learned, yeah. Oh, right. Um, not being funny. Mm -hmm. um, like, they were punchy. I'll give them that. Mm -hmm. But they weren't anything particularly standout-ish. <sighs> yeah. Oh, you know what? I haven't heard that song in years until I just played it for you, and I have to agree, it's not aged as well as I thought it might. No. Um, yeah, I, I I'm just sorry, feel like I bit... feel like I've wasted your time. Yeah. Well, you have. I'm sorry. I'm. I, I mean, I feel let like down by you. Mm, I don't like that. Where am I ever going to get that time back again? I've got. Well, I'm going to carry this guilt around with me for the rest of the day as well, so. <sighs> Good. Do you want to play a game of boring texts? Okay, yeah, go for it. Right. Let's find the most boring text conversation we've got on our phone. <laughs> and read them out loud. I like this. Air. Okay, right. What have we got? Oh, my best. See, the thing is, out. I just, I'm, I'm concerned that I'm going to go through <clears throat> a text conversation. Ah, <laughs> I found one. Okay. Right, can I begin? Yep, go for it. Okay, this is beginning from 28th of October, 2013. Ready? Mm-hmm. You've used 80% of your data, which refreshes on 13th of November. <laughs> okay. Relax, we'll text you if you've hit 100%. Have you got any from an actual person? I'm sure somebody actually sent that. Um, okay, yes, I'm sure I do. Um, does EE -E count? Uh, no, no, an actual person. Oh, okay. Um, while, while you're looking, I'm going to do this one. Uh... Hiya, sorry, can we make it another day, as Gary has a cold, a hangover, and is lacking the ability to function properly. Um, then that was that one, and then from the same person, Hiya, my lovely people, if you guys are still up for Good Friday fun and shenanigans, Gary will be cooking chilli. Please bring your own booze, and RSVP ASAP. Then, she corrected herself to say bring, because she typed bing. Originally. Right. Then, then, this is where it really hottens up. Hi guys, just to say the weather is a tad on the nippy side, please wrap up warm as we'll be in the garden for a bit. See you soon. <laughs> that was my boring conversation. Um, this isn't so much boring as it is confusing. Mm -hmm. um, They're so, the best. Go for it. Yeah, it begins as such. Uh, I had a missed call. I remember this. 
and I had a few missed calls for the same person. Uh, assumedly, I'd picked up somebody else's number who was um, well, it's now defunct, obviously. So I began the conversation. Sorry I missed your call. Phone's knackered. I haven't got many contacts on here. Who is this? The text that I got back was easy with a Z. Uh, <laughs> I responded with dot dot dot. Huh? Is this Curtis? <laughs> no. Oh, my bad. I wish I was Curtis. Well, you said Why? I wish I was Curtis. Why? Because Curtis is a legend. <laughs> I didn't receive a response. Can we call them? What, right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. P oh, please call them right now and say, hi, this is Curtis. Okay. No, I don't want to say, hi, this is Curtis. I want to say, hi, this isn't Curtis. Yes, yes, do it. Do it right now. Do it right now. Let's see if he picks up. I don't right. know if I want to do this. Yeah, you do. I'll do it. No, it's cool. Okay. Go no, for I it. don't want to do this. You do. You do. I don't. You do. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's find out what what Easy has to say. <laughs> is, it, is it ringing? Yeah. Hello. Hiya. Yeah. You alright? Is that Easy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, mate, I got a text back um, from you saying, is this uh, Curtis? Uh, oh, wait, that was probably time ago. Oh, was it? Oh, was it? Pardon? Oh, well, that, oh, right, okay, I guess I got the wrong number then, yeah? Yeah, that was probably years ago. Ah, oh, that's alright then, mate. No worries. Alright, yeah. right, thanks anyway. Alright, cool. Cool. Love you. <laughs> I <was> <laughs> love you. <laughs> Excellent. What's your next song? Um, my next song is by a friend of mine called Dan Chapman. All right. Are, are they paying you for all this? No. Are you, are you Considering this is a demo, do they not? It's not going to get very far reach, is it? Regina Spector gave you two grand. You should have. You should have oh, thought about it. Well, the third the selection might well uh, <laughs> recap some of the losses. Let's um, listen to this song. What's it called? It's called Strange Fruit. Strange Fruit by uh, uh, a friend of mine, Dan Chapman. He is uh, is influenced by another musician that I also have uh, similar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't you marry them? <laughs> <laughs> Back with Zeke and Graham on the ultimate mixtape on Radio Black Frog, going live across Tame and online. Graham, that was an amazing song choice. How smooth, right? Smooth as chocolate pudding. And the highs as well. The highs are high, the lows, really low. The middle bits, right in the middle. Yeah. Can't, <laughs> can't, can't ask for better than that. He kind of reminds me... He's a weird, like, kind of blend of, say, Tom Waits and the soundtrack from Once. Yes. Yeah, do you know what I mean? He's, um, he takes a lot of inspiration from Jeff Buckley, uh, as I'm led to believe. Yeah, I hear that. I um, hear that. Yeah, yeah, uh, particularly vocally. But, um, yeah, he's um, he's quite into his uh, gypsy jazz as well. Recently, he started, um, started coming up with a few projects, which I won't reveal too much about now. But I'm sure if you want to get the until you get the advertising money off him, no, uh, no, no, certainly not. Um, he already <laughs> owes me five hundred quid. Um, Don't let you get on that. Let's call Dan not right now. Ask him for five hundred quid. <laughs> Let's do a conference call between Dan and Easy. Should I actually get down on the phone and just say, Dan, you're on the radio? Yeah, can do. All right, yeah. let's do it. Why not, Dan? Dan, let's, oh, I hope I'll get Regina up. Spectre on the on the line. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. It's exciting stuff. This bit. Here we go, Dan. Is it ringing? It's about to. Can't take your call right now. No, we can't take my call right now. Uh, Dan. Well, if the people at home want to call him and chat to him later, his number is 07... No, oh, shut no. up. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was great. I think that should definitely go on Zeke and Graham's Ultimate Mixtape. You really, you, you're, you're in concordance with that? Love it. Absolutely Fantastic. love great. it. Great. I'm glad to hear that. No, good tune. Good tune. Are you going to do anything musically with him, do you reckon? Um, we're playing at the Poly in Falmouth on oh, yeah. the 12th of July together. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm sure be... all the good people in Tame will be heading to that event <laughs> on the other side of the country. <laughs> be there or be square. It'll be worth folk. it. It'll be worth it. 
Will it? Yes. Will it be worth the petrol money? Yes. Okay. Good. Well, yes. get yourself down there. Well, you know, if not, I could, I could probably pay for it because Dan owes me five hundred right now. But you're gonna uh, pay for everyone in town, yeah, <laughs> to go to your your show. Yeah, book a book a coach. You're really good to your fans, man. I, I did my really best. Good. I did my best. But um, right then. Okay. What is your third selection? Yeah, let's dive straight into that. I haven't decided. Mm, I'm having a toss up between two tracks that I'd kind of picked out. Let me have a little look. <clears throat> How well known are the bands? One incredibly well known, okay. like global superstar, but you might not necessarily know the song. Okay. The other, um, but basically, one of them is a kind of pop punk kind of band, but good. Like, easy, easy. <laughs> no, no, it's kind of like um, if you think, uh, let's see, it's a bit like Rise Against or like some forty one, that, that okay, kind of thing. Cool. But but like, it's like decent pop punk. You know how pop punk kind of throughout the two thousands just went. Oh, <laughs> <really>? Nickelback. <laughs> well, that's not really pop punk. I'm talking like your kind of yeah, some forty one and stuff. Like how it yeah. all just went very commercial and chintzy. But McFly busted it all went downhill. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah. Um, so it's a bit like that, but um, good or. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give you the option three now, right? Okay. So you got that? Yep. That one's one option. You, you've got that in the box. You can take a Jason Mraz song that you might not have heard. Mm. Or you can take a Slipknot remix. Can I ask, is the Slipknot remix mm -hmm. the Bloodstone remix of... Oh, yeah, I knew no! It. Yes, sorry. I, am I that predictable? No, it's not that. It's just, um, I just, I, that's the only remix I could think of. of right. And what do you want? Uh, let's take the punk pop route, I feel. Then, my friends at home, I give you Zebra Head, Everything's Falling Apart. Oh, another oh, song! Oh, dude, oh, yeah. brilliant! High five! Yeah. There we go. Ultimate mixtape here on Radio Black Frog. You were just listening. Graham, do the link because do the link. It was um, it was Zebra Head. Everything's falling apart. Um, very fitting. What? Oh yeah. Um, but so you know that you knew the song. Yes, yes. It's very angry, isn't it? It is a little bit. Yeah. Such anger. Yeah, it's um, it reminds me a little bit of like um, like Finch, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, yeah I, it's I like, think, a, like a progenitor of mm -hmm. it, if you will. They they were very much of that era. Uh, I mean, they're still going on, but like they yeah. hit their, their peak uh, when like Finch and Thursday were going ahead. And yeah, yeah, Thursday. Cool that's a band as well. That is a band. That is a band. If you were going to describe that collective of people, I would say band. Well, there is, but there's one other band that I think are probably even better than Thursday. Mm -hmm. They're of a very similar style, and They're also one of my favourite... Thrice. Yes, yeah. yes, of course. Of course. My, also, probably my favourite band as well. Do you remember that gig we went to, to see Thrice? Yeah. Age of you... Their last gig. <laughs> yes, I do remember it. I got my phone stolen. Yes, you did. No, um, it was an incredible show. That was one of the best gigs I've ever been to in my life. And yeah. thank you for that. You bought me a ticket for my no, birthday. No, that's quite alright, but it was just an amazing experience to go and see your favourite oh. band on their last ever gig. I know, um, wasn't it just? Yeah, like it was, it was quite an emotional tone to the night, actually. It was um, like saying goodbye it to was. my friends, really. Yeah, saying goodbye to my phone. <laughs> which, which, uh, which kicked off... Oh, it's all coming back. Which kicked off the reason why I was on the BBC... Mm. Which we spoke mm -hmm. about at the start of this this show. Yes, quite so. But we can't speak any more of it for legal reasons. We must so. protect their identity. <laughs> don't, don't you dare! I, <laughs> that's no, you're going too far. I'm sorry, I, I didn't want to burst your bubble. <laughs> don't stop it! Stop it! <laughs> okay, Scott, I'm sorry. I'm too sorry. much. Um, all right. Well, anyway. If, but, you, if you'd like to sue Graham Hidden, please tweet on in <laughs> at Radio Black Frog. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. So is that is that going on the mixtape, the old zebra head? I am very much in a, uh, agreement with that. Good. I think that's um, that's definitely a winner. That does mean, however, the mixtape is full, so the next song choice will have to be really good, and 
hopefully inspire us to change our minds and scrub one of them out. So Okay. What have we got? Well, choice of two, my mm -hmm. friend. Um, first of which is from a band previously mentioned uh, called Thrice. Um, it's one of their I tracks. I knew you would put a Thrice uh, one in there. Of course I was going to put a Thrice one in there. I absolutely love Thrice. Um, but you could take a question mark track. I'm not going to tell you anything about this track other than the fact you don't know a thing about it. Of course, yeah. Hence the question mark. Yes. I'm going to have to go with the question mark because yeah. if we choose the Thrice song, I'm going to have to revise my options. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, because I'd have to have the Thrice song on the mixtape for definite. Okay. Uh, so I'd rather have something that I haven't yet heard. Okay. What have we got? Well, it's actually a postal service cover. I oh my god! I also wrote down. Look no. at that! Look at that! No. Postal service. Oh District Sleep Alone. no way! Is the cover District Sleep Alone? No. Okay. What is it? No, it's at such great heights, and it's by a guy called. Well, it goes by the stage name of Iron and Wine. Know it? Yeah. You know it. Let's do it. Yeah, definitely. Such great heights here on Radio Black Frog. That is, of course, a cover of the Postal Service. It is indeed. Um, mm. So are you glad you took a punt on that? I am <clears> damn <throat> glad I took a punt on that. And I should point out that the uh, the the quality is not a, a, a screw up on our end or, or on the Radio Black Frog's producer's end. It's just that's how the song sounds. It's so lo-fi you can smell it, and I think it's uh, <laughs> I think I think it's beautiful for it. They probably just literally sat sit there, sat down with an eight track and just went for it, didn't they? Uh, by the sound of it, I'd say it's probably a home recording. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, but like it's such a fantastic feel to it. What a great track to choose to you know give it a kind of a low production feel. I, I just think it works amazingly. It's beautiful uh, harmonic. Yeah, uh, I love my harmonies, um, as you know. Yeah, I um, love wine. Iron you love and wine. wine. Yeah, iron and wine. Yeah. It's brilliant. Iron I, I like mode. Yeah, I like the postal service as well. I yes. like I like sending letters. I like wine. I'm a fan of iron. You can build things of iron when it's ready for the hood. But I'm scared of heights. So Are you really? Yeah, terrified of heights. So iron and wine, such great heights. It's two out of three. But it is great. Such great heights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. In fact. It pains me to say this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm going to do? What? For the ultimate mixtape, I'm going to kick out Zebrahead and put really? them in because that's we've run out of slots. So wow, you're. I don't really want to get. I don't want to get rid of Regina Spectre, and I don't no, want to get course. rid of the lads that you chose earlier on. Um, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I think Iron and Wine needs to to go in there. Fantastic. I'm, I I can't tell you how pleased I am by that. Brilliant. So we've just uh, we just nailed it. We just uh, made our first ultimate mixtape. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. We're going to hand you over to uh, our next presenters now, and we're going to go into Toto, Africa, to do the transition. But... Da 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 do do something about wild dogs in the night. Yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. Not something about them. Yeah, them. Oh, is that is that all it is? Wild dogs echo in the night. Looking for a doggy biscuit. Yeah, we could have just played the song. That was what I was going to do, but then you. Deigned to sing it. <laughs> well, hardly sing it, but um, yeah. I like that. I, I enjoy that. I think for, for future shows, we should always just sing the songs. <laughs> <laughs> like we, we never bother playing them. It would get around copyright and licensing fees. We can just <laughs> just sing them. <laughs> Graham and Zeke's ultimate mess up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it shall be entitled in the future. But thanks, guys. You can, you can follow us at Radio Black Frog. And if you disagree or vehemently agree with any of the choices that we made tonight then do let us know via that uh, you can get us on our personal twitter accounts can't they yes what are you 
I'm at Raving Wild, all yeah. one word. And your website's ravingwild.co.uk. Check and out your music, because uh, that's pretty okay. Well, thank you. Thank mm. you. And I'm uh, Zeke Idden, at Iron Man Mode. And you can check out my website, ironmanmode.com. And also on YouTube, I do funny videos on YouTube. Amazing videos, in fact. Um, They're all right. Fantastic comedy They're and quality on both accounts. They're okay. I had Regina Spectre on the phone the other day. She, she called me up and said, your videos, they're all right. Is that a real fact? No. No. Bye. Bye. <laughs>Let's do a little test, doing a voice test. This is a voice test. <clears throat> oh, hello. Oh, hello. How are you doing? I'm, I'm all right. Good. Testing. Testing. This is a mighty fine test we're involved in right now. I, th I think this is possibly the best test. The best oh, of the easily tests. Up there in the top three tests. Definitely. Um, you know, I've done a, a few tests in my time, and this is... Yeah? This is really. Are you a con are you, would you say you're a connoisseur of testing? I, I am. I am. I am. You know I your know tests. An exquisite test. You know your tests. That's one thing people will say about you. I've heard people say that they go, Graham. He's a lot of things, but one thing he really is is a good <laughs> tester. I hope in many years to come. Um, you know, my uh, <laughs> my grandchildren are talking about my testing experiences. Uh, they're going to. I mean, that's a given. That is a given. So if I have grandchildren, can you say, can we do the test again? Yeah. Do we have to repeat? All, all Every that. single word, word yeah. for word, otherwise we fail the test. Really? Yeah. I'm a connoisseur, at that, and I'm sure I didn't say that. No, I was the one that said that. Yeah. yeah, I said, so you are a connoisseur of yeah. testing. I'm not. Obviously not, you're failing <laughs> this one. As far I really as, am. As far as tests go, this is the worst test I've ever <laughs> been involved in. <laughs> I hope in years to come, yeah. people realise this was not <laughs> they, they the won't. height of my No career. one will be talking about this test. I, I sincerely hope not. Can we, um, just for the sake of the test... Mm -hmm. Can we just try and see how like some high notes come out just on the off chance that one of us giggles particularly high as I'm as you're going, <laughs> I never as you're going to doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's see who can you hit the higher note. Go go higher, go higher. I can't because my I've got a cold. Oh, a workman always blames his tools. No, seriously, I'm not I'm not doing too well. You got a cold, you didn't tell me that before you sat next to me. I didn't think it was relevant. You got a cold, you got a cold, don't you? Well, it's relevant because I don't want a cold. That's unfortunate. Cheers. All right, that's been test. <laughs>